So the Rotogrip Rubicon is the newest ball in the HP3 line. It features a sanded solid reactive cover stock and an asymmetric core. This is the first ASIM ball in the HP3 line, and it's not as strong as the typical ASIMs in the HP4 line. The RG on this ball is 249, and the differential is 052. What's up, YouTube? Trevor Roberts back again with another ball review, ball review number nine. And I'm gonna be reviewing today the Rotogrip Rubicon. It's a brand new release by Rotogrip, and I'm gonna compare it to a ball that's pretty similar to it, I believe, which is the Rotogrip Idol. They're both in the same line, HP3 line. So, you guys know the rules. One take, no cuts, no edits. So, why don't we get inside and uh, shoot this review. Let's get it. All right, so the layout I used on the Rotogrip Rubicon is a pin down layout. And the reason I did this, I wanted to decrease the flare and I wanted to smooth the ball out overall. I didn't want this ball being too strong. I wanted it to be nice and controllable and smooth. And I think that's what we achieved with this. So here's the first shot with the Rubicon. I actually missed right on this shot. And you saw how it picked up, rolled in the mid lane, and slapped that 10 out. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna use the Rubicon for three shots. Give you guys more information, uh, more times going down the lane. So the first one, I ended up hitting 17. I do a six and three move left here, and now I'm aiming at 2021. 20, and I think I hit 21 or 22 there. But again, I move left, it still stores its energy, and still goes through the pin screen. And then on this third shot, I do another six and three left, and I aim for 23 or 24. And what I really like about this ball, it's not too early. The other ASIMs in the line, in the HP4 line, they're real early, uh, real controllable. While this one is still smooth and controllable, it's not super early. And once it hits the break point, it doesn't go left, it rolls forward. Which compared to the idle, it, it's different. The idle tends to go left whenever it hits the break point. The Rubicon rolls forward and I really like that. It really controls the pocket well and so on that shot I was hitting 23-24 and it didn't quite hit the 8 which you can expect from an asymmetric core. Once I get that deep normally I go to a symmetric ball. So here's the idle. I hit 21-22 there great shot and generally that is as far left as I'll go with the idle it's a super strong ball and as you'll see on my next shot once you get two left with those strong balls they don't quite finish so this next shot I hit 25 at the arrows with the idle uh, generally if I'm in that far deep I'm using the idle pro or the idle pro But yeah, the Idol and the Rubicon, they're very similar, I would say. They're both pretty strong. I would just say the main difference is the Rubicon rolls forward at the end of the pattern, and the Idol, it hooks left. It's a symmetric core, it retains a little bit more energy, and it hooks, it goes left at the break point. So if you guys like what you saw out of the Rubicon, go order yours today at your local VIP Pro Shop. And if you liked the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for future videos. Peace.